Hello, science writers. Today, we're going to talk about inserting figures in Microsoft Word. I know some of you probably screamed when I said that, but don't worry. With the tricks we're going to go through today, with the little things I show you to pay attention to, it's going to become pretty simple and pretty intuitive to insert these figures in Microsoft Word. So welcome to Butler SciComm. I'm Casey Butler, and let's talk figures. So to start our work with inserting figures, I have a document open here where you can see a big chunk of text and then a figure with a caption that is not integrated in or with that text wrapped around it. So I'm going to show you how to move this figure up and integrate it into the text in a way that's pretty simple and works really well. So first, I'm going to show you just dragging this figure up into the body of the text so you see what happens. When you start to drag the figure, you see this cursor appears that lets us put this figure wherever we want. So for maximum drama in Word, I'm going to insert it right here in the middle of the paragraph. And when I do that, what you see is that it definitely splits the text. So we have this chunk of text up top here, and we have this chunk of text on the bottom here. And you'll also notice that the caption, because it was inserted as text, does not move with the figure. And this is one of the really tricky things that people struggle with in Word, and we're going to get back to the caption in a minute. First, I want to talk just about this figure. So also with this figure, you see there's this big chunk of white space beside the figure. What we want instead is to wrap the text around this figure. So we're going to come up here, and when you hover your mouse over the figure, this box pops up here, this upside down U sign. If you click on it, this is going to be your text wrap or your layout options. And right now, it's, it's considered as in line with text, which means that it's just on one of the lines, and that's why the text is not wrapping around it. So we're going to move down here for text wrapping, and one of the best options is just going to be square. And when we click that, we see that the text now wraps all around our figure along the side like it wasn't before. Now, the next thing that I want to show you with this figure, and this is a really important key point of this figure, is when you have the figure selected, you see right here on the side of this text, there is this little blue anchor. This little blue anchor, if I hover my mouse over for you, is the object anchor. This anchor shows exactly which piece of text in this Word document your figure is stuck to or anchored to. And so anytime that piece of text moves, this figure is going to move. And that is a key thing that I think a lot of people don't realize when working with figures in Word is that the figure is stuck to a piece of text. Okay, So that means that if you take this figure and drag it, you're going to move. See how this anchor now moved to this paragraph? So now the text is anchored to this paragraph and not to this paragraph anymore. Also, when a big chunk of text is deleted or moved, the text if the text jumps, the figure jumps with it. So just to give you an idea, first I'm going to delete this smaller chunk of text to show you what happens and expand this so you can see. Okay, so now what you see is since my figure we can see is still anchored at the beginning of this paragraph, when I deleted that chunk of text, now you have this big piece of white space here. And that's because this is the next piece of text that would move up into that white space, but because the figure is anchored to it and because the figure is too big to jump onto the next page, the text is not going to, or the text is not going to jump, the figure is not going to jump. Instead, you're going to have this big chunk of white space. Now, if you had an even bigger chunk of white space, so if I delete even more, oh, figure is still too big, so this is still not jumping to the next page. Now let me delete the rest of this paragraph, and everything jumped. So now that there was space for the figure to jump with the text, everything moved at the same time. Now, the, this still doesn't fix the problem with our caption, that our caption is just hanging out down here all by itself. The way I'm going to show you for that is one of my favorite methods for when you need to insert figures and have the text wrapped. So this is not usually so common for papers. Oftentimes the figures are like I showed you before on their own separate page in an appropriate location in the manuscript body. 
but sometimes you do need to insert these figures into the text and wrap like I'm showing you with the caption beside it. This is going to be really common for any kind of applications or grants that you're doing. So I'm going to show you how to do this key point. The first thing that I'm going to do is go up here to insert and I'm going to insert a text box. Just a simple text box in the body of my Word document. And what I'm going to do is drag this text box and make it bigger than my figure, like this. Then cut my figure from the text body and insert it into this text box. So now I have a figure in the text box. And if you click on the text box, you see that it is also wrapped square. So the text is moving around alongside the text box. Next, I'm going to cut my caption from the text body itself here and insert it under my figure like this. So now you can select the text of this caption. You can work with this text individually. Like we can come and change this paragraph spacing so that it fits nicer into here. We can change the font of this, make it all fit nicely in this text box. Now adjust the text box to fit the size of your figure. Make sure it still fits the size of your caption, which it does. And now when we move our text box, so you're going to want to drag it from these edges, but you can move the text box around and it behaves exactly like the figure. So you still have this anchor you can see at the beginning of this paragraph, anchoring this to the text. But now our caption is included with the text, it's or with the figure, it's moving with the figure. Every time we move the figure, the caption is not going to run away anymore. A lot of times for grants, people like to have this box around it that's delineating this figure from the text. But if you don't want the box, that's also really simple. You can just click, right click on the box, go to outline, and do no outline, and then your box disappears. You can't even tell it's there. So this is my favorite trick for inserting figures into Word. It becomes really easy to move these figures around, clicking on your box. The caption does not run away from the figure. Uh, the text, once you understand how the anchors work, uh, Moving the text around, changing the text around doesn't dramatically change your figures or where they're located in the text body, and they suddenly become much easier to handle and much simpler to work with. So hopefully now everybody has their figures inserted in Microsoft Word. If you have any questions, you can reach me in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this when they come out in the future. Happy writing!